Hello everybody, in today's video I am going to go a little bit more in depth to this Cascadia puzzle. Uh, its name is Cascadia, I designed this and Jacob Dvorak in the Czech Republic at Pelican Puzzles has mass produced a limited number of them by hand. And in my opinion, uh, he's very, very good. Uh, one of the best in the world at building these type of puzzles. Now this is a prototype, I did receive two as you saw. Um, the new ones that he did, uh, like on here you can see um, the wood grain here goes opposite of this, but he's actually fixed it so the wood grain goes with everything else so it looks more like a solid block. Um, and here you can see here we've got some end grain compared to long grain here. And he's also put end grain in here as well to make it look more. And same with here and here and stuff like that. So the, the, the version that is for sale on the website, which is at the top of the description here, um, is more professional than this even, which is kind of hard to believe because this is so good. Also, he has been inscribing the name of the puzzles somewhere on the puzzle. I'm not sure how he does it, probably with laser or some type of uh, drilling tool. And he's actually put Cascadia along right here and it looks great. And I'll show you a picture of that right now. As you can see, it says Cascadia there. I think it looks great. I even ordered one of these because uh, I want my puzzle um, to look like that. So <laughs> anyways, um, so this is the puzzle. It's a level 17, meaning 17 moves to take it apart. And I am, uh, I'm sure that you might be looking at it thinking, well... It looks like four big pieces, but it's actually five pieces. Um, the center one here is one piece that goes all the way around. And I designed this in such a way uh, with the colors that it looks like a block on each side. And I think it gives a really attractive look to it. And it basically just pulls apart like this. And it'll actually pull apart on all sides like that. So it's got lots of starting positions. It's got a lot of false starts. Um, you can even move the center independently of it, as you can see. Um, I've also designed it so it's got five holes. Now this was actually inspired by another puzzle called Orion. I saw this on uh, my friend Kevin's blog called Puzzle Mad. And, um, and I was like, wow, that's a really cool looking puzzle. I've never designed something like that. I'm going to try to design something like that. Um, and so I did, and this was the result, and I did it in such a way that it was like this. Orion was originally made, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, um, <laughs> Osinari Yamamoto. Uh, I hope that's how you pronounce your name. But anyways, um, credit to him for giving me the inspiration to design this. So anyways, it comes apart and then you can move these ones apart as well. Um, and now there's, there's multiple different ways that you can do it. Obviously, like I said, you can do it that way or you can do it this way and you can pull it apart that way um, or you can pull it apart this way. Now, you will be able to see if I can do it that there are some rotations um, possible. That does not mean that you should be able to, should be doing them. It doesn't mean that you can't do them. I'm gonna leave it up to you if you decide to get this puzzle to figure out whether the rotations will help you or not. Uh, let me just see if I can find a rotation like this. See, now we've got one piece rotated. <laughs> and can I get it back? So the whole point of this, obviously, is to disassemble it. Um, now, me struggling with rotations uh, makes it seem like it's, uh, you know, a difficult puzzle, but but really it's, it's not too difficult. It does have a level of difficulty to it. I mean, you can move them like this, and then, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have, I've solved this thing once, and uh, let's see here. Nope, that's not it. So it's got to be this way. Something like this, possibly. See, I'm already stuck. <laughs> I don't remember the solution, but I am going to take this thing apart now and show you the actual pieces. So as you can see, I've taken this thing apart, and uh, these are the pieces. And the whole thing is to give an illusion that it has four... I guess I have to put this together first. That it has four solid blocks. This is what it looks like uh, without the center in there. Um, and with the center, obviously, it's made with four different woods, and that fits in. Um, but it's, it's made to kind of give an illusion uh, that these are, you know, solid blocks. Obviously, you can see, uh, you know, when it's in there, you can see that there's three layers. This uh, end grain against the long grain obviously gives it away that uh, this is not part of this piece. Um, but with the new versions, like I was saying, every, all the grains go the same way, so it does give that illusion. Um, 
I think it looks pretty cool even without the centerpiece in. But that is my puzzle guys. And if you decide to get it, it is, I believe, let me just check here. It is 35 euros, which is very cheap for this quality of puzzle. I know that most of you guys are cubers and you're used to, to you know, $12 three by threes, but those three by threes are mass produced. This is made by hand. I have to say this every time in my wood puzzles because the wood puzzles are all made by hand and that's why that their price is a little bit higher. But um, Pelican's prices are actually considerably low compared to most people and the quality is considerably high. So um, I'm very, very happy that this got produced and I hope that you guys decide that you might want to get one. There are limited, so if you guys want one that's uh, made by me, or sorry, designed by me, I guess, um, you might want to get your hands on that pretty quick. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video.